It's important to be clear because we have to understand how to properly communicate. See, not being clear causes the other person confusion because we don't know what we're trying to say and or put. Oftentimes, it's the lack of our communication skills that develop the lack of being clear. See, being clear has to be learned, but first we have to understand what being clear is. Being clear is understanding what you want. Being clear is understanding what you will say. Being clear is taking your time to communicate properly, to ask for help, to communicate, to, to ask the questions that will help you understand something that you do not know. But it's to be clear on what the purpose is. We have to understand what clear is. Clear is understanding what you're doing in order to gain more information when we go get in front of people. Hey, what's going on everybody? My name is Terrell with the Wild Humphrey and welcome to another episode of Failure is Knowledge. If this is your first time here at Failure is Knowledge, make sure you like, subscribe, and wait towards the end to leave a comment. See, here we talk about growth and how we're becoming the best version of ourselves. We just have to put time and effort into, our, into ourselves to grow into the best version of us. See, here's the thing. Being clear is important because when you clear and understand what you would like, that's when people get your message. That's when people understand more. See, being clear is a skill, but we have to learn what this skill is. The point of this video is to be clear on learning how to understand yourself and what you would like to present. I'm presenting why being clear is important. This video is going to explain everything. So this came about to yesterday. It came about yesterday when I reached out to this church. I reached out to this church to ask them about an event, but I didn't have the proper questions in mind that I needed to ask nor did I know what right questions to ask. See, I learned that I tried to ask the right questions. I put myself out there and me putting myself out there led me to not being clear. Me not being clear was a valuable lesson because I can't paint the picture for the other person if the if I don't even know what picture I'm trying to paint. And, and that's when I understood, I'm like, oh, okay, what do I need to know? What do I need to learn? What do I need? What, what type of questions do I need to ask in order to gain the right information? So it, it starts with me. What was the purpose of the call? I didn't have an idea of why I was calling. I, uh, correct. I had an idea, but it wasn't as clear. It was just a. It was just a thought. So now this thought, when it came, when it's coming to reality, and I'm trying to communicate with the other person, I have to explain and properly ask the questions to help them paint the picture to give me the answers that I'm looking for. See, being clear is understanding what's the point of it, of it all. What is the point behind this conversation? What's the point behind the video? What is the point behind everything that you're doing? See, understanding how to be clear helps us grow and to learn more about ourselves. And see, that's why we have to understand what being clear is. Being clear is, is, uh, is understanding what's the point of it. That takes time to recognize when we're not really working on ourselves. See, I had to learn, even though I, I, I called the church and I was calling to ask about the event, what do I what do I need to bring? How do y'all work with 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 uh, entrepreneurs or influencers. How do y'all collaborate with people? How do y'all do this? How do y'all do that? But I didn't. I didn't have the right questions to ask because I didn't know what to, what what to present them. And the call led me to know. I'm like, okay, it wasn't that I didn't know. I just wasn't clear on what I was trying to do. I had one piece of the puzzle and all the other pieces were scattered. That's why it's so important to take your time with everything that you're doing. It's okay to be embarrassed, but what are you doing to learn from this embarrassment? See, the embarrassment is preparing you to, to handle everything that's coming your way. If it's not coming your way, you're not, you're not able to identify what you are going through. See, growing through it helps, helps me identify that I'm on the right path. I just have to Put all the pieces to the puzzle before I move on. See, clarity matters because it, it, it helps us paint the picture that's in our head to the next person. We have to be clear on how to properly communicate. This skill is going to help us gain a better understanding than we think. See, the better understanding is just really us under learning more about what we like to be clear on. We have to learn it, but we can't be afraid to be embarrassed to learn what clear is. Because if we're not clear, the other person's going to know. Like, man, you ain't put no thought into this. You ain't tried. You ain't, you ain't really looked up the information that you need to look up to, in order to be clear. The purpose of the video is to, under, to explain the importance of being clear. The next part I want to hit on is the benefits of being clear. The benefits of being clear is that we're able to explain what we would like to do, say, think, 
to the next person and let the other person understand where we're coming from. See, if we don't know, if we don't learn, if we don't understand, we're not clear on the picture that's being painted. I saw this one video with Kanye West and his uh, uh, with Kanye West and his daughter. No, not his daughter, but Kanye West's ex-wife and his daughter. And she painted a picture. The picture was so amazing. The picture was so amazing. And the caption was like, Northwest really put her mind to it. Really, really did this picture. Really, put, really painted this picture. But she was clear on what she wanted to see. That's why it's so important to recognize being clear is not just saying I have a thought in my mind. How can I take it and put it onto paper? See, the benefit of being clear is that everybody can see what was in your head. Everybody can hear how you wanted, wanted to communicate. Everybody can understand what you like to present. See, being clear has to be learned and it's only learning we learn more about ourselves. Once we begin to learn more about ourselves, we have to be open to asking the right questions. The next person can read our mind and we have to stop that. We have to stop thinking that the next person can read what I would like to say. When I made that call the other day, uh, yesterday, when I made that call yesterday, I was asking questions, hoping that the other person on the phone understood where I was coming from. She didn't even have an idea because I wasn't clear. She didn't have an idea. She was trying to help me. She was trying to put me in the right direction, but the, my direction was confused because I wasn't clear. That's why it's so important to understand that being clear is a tool that will help help people gain a better understanding of what you would like to ask and understand. But first, we have to learn and understand who we are in order to be clear on everything that we're doing. So we have to take time and we have to really put time and effort into learning what clear is. Clear is gaining an understanding of things. And as we're understanding things, it's, 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 becoming, more, it's becoming more understanding. It's, more, it's becoming more understandable because we're able to communicate it and get out of our heads and paint the picture to let the other, pe other person, other people see the picture that we're painting. See, Northwest, she painted this picture. Not everybody can see what was in her head. Because she understood the benefit of being clear. We have to understand being clear comes with time. Being clear comes with effort. And it has to be on a, on a daily basis that will help us grow. See, being clear doesn't happen if we're not putting effort into ourselves. That's why it's so important to even identify why it's important. See, being clear is a benefit once you understand how it can help us later on in life. That's what I'm beginning to understand. I'm like, oh, okay. I have to do more research on, on, on events, on the proper material I should be presenting, on the person I need to speak with, on the t exact title. I have to be more specific enough to ask the questions so she can put me in the right direction. See, being clear is helping people direct you in the right way. It's like it's like it's like going on a road trip with no GPS and now you're just taking the roads. There's a lot of roads that lead to many di many different destinations, but what road are we focusing on to get to the right place? See, the GPS doesn't go nowhere if we're not putting the right location in. That's why being clear and have an idea of where we would like to go, where we would like to be, what we would like to do is helping other people see our goal and our picture and our vision because they can help us later on in life. They can help us in the right direction, the right path, and, 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 and point us in, in, and put us in contact or point us in the, in the direction that we need to go. See, we can only get there if we understand how to be clear for ourselves. That's why it's so important. We have to understand how to properly know what we know. Know what we like to know in order to keep pushing forward, in order to keep learning, in order to keep being clear. Because as you being clear on your journey, it's going to be rocky. And yet, as it's rocky, you're not going to lose focus of the destination. Because the GPS is set. Your mind is focused. And your goal is, 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 is going along the journey because you are clear on everything that you're doing. Will it take time? Yes. Will it take effort? Yes. Everything that's meant doing is worth learning once we understand how to how to be clear for ourselves. The last point I want to hit on is tips to becoming better. And before I hit, before I speak about tips to becoming better, this Wednesday I'm hosting a free webinar on how to repurpose your pain into your passion. See, we all go through tough times, yet the tough times is preparing us to be the best 
that we can become. See, when we understand that our past is not a punishment, it's a lesson to help us grow. That's when we can repurpose our pain into our passion and understand that we that 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 there is more that we expect. But more has to be accomplished when we understand we have to start with ourselves. If you would like to attend this free webinar on how to repurpose your pain into your passion, there will be a link in the description. Make sure you click it, sign up, and register it, and I will see you there. It, it, it's not the will of the man. It's the skill of a man that allows the pain to be repurposed. And the last point I want to hit on is tips to becoming clear. The, this one is so important because now there's there's. There, there's ways in, of understanding how to be clear, right? We have to we, we have to know the ways, and the two ways I'm going to speak about is improving communication skills. You have to prove improve the way you communicate to others because if we're not properly understanding how how what we're how what we are saying is not making sense, we will never get help because we don't understand how to be clear on the message that we're delivering. See, the whole purpose of this of this video is to be clear on everything that we're doing to be clear and have an understanding how to how to be focused on the destination and, and, and grow into the best version of ourselves. See, understanding how to improve your skills, this is how. You got to start communicating with yourself. Oftentimes when I was growing up, I wasn't communicating with myself because I didn't know how to. I didn't know how to and this is how you begin today. You begin communicating with yourself by having a journal and writing Expressing how you feel to yourself. What is the question that you always want to ask yourself, but you never, but you never, it, it never came out. Like I always want to know why did I stutter? Why? Well, why did I talk so fast? Why? 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 Why is the fact that my thoughts can never come out like I want them to? I never understood that. I never understood that until I really got to working on myself. But then when I start working on myself, I'm learning. I'm like, okay, I have to ask the hard questions to myself before I can ask the hard questions to anybody else. Because the answer that I discovered, because I was I was rushing through my words. And mind you, people was telling me, like, bro, just slow down. Man, just slow down talking. Man, just slow down. Just gather your thoughts and let your thoughts come out as they're supposed to. But I wasn't doing that because I was just letting my thoughts overrun my mouth and my mouth wasn't making sense. My communication wasn't making sense because I wasn't I wasn't speaking to myself. I wasn't asking myself these hard questions because I didn't know how to practice communication skills. See, first we have to talk to ourselves. First we have to get to know and be clear and understand every, every everything that we are. See, it takes time. As it's taking time, we're getting better at communication. Communication only gets better as we're trying and knowing how to practice it. Practice it. That's why focusing on being clear and understanding what the picture is. The picture is only in my head because I, I have no idea to take it out of my head to have, to have other people understand it. And as under, other people are trying to listen, trying to help, they don't know where to start because I'm all over the place. That's why the tip number one is so important. You have to learn how to improve Communication skills because communication is everything. Everything that we're doing, we have to communicate it. Everything that we're doing, we have to we have to speak about it in some way to help to have other people know what we, what's in our heads. To have other people that want to help what's in our head. To even know what we want to do, we have to speak about it. And speaking about it, we have to speak about it to ourselves. That's tip number one. You have to be comfortable with asking yourself the hard questions because when you get comfortable being uncomfortable with yourself. The question that you would like to know from any and everybody would be easy to ask because you are learning how to ask your, yourself questions. That's the thing about life. We have to be open to asking questions. That's what helps us become clear because becoming clear is a skill that has to be understood and practiced and focused on every single day because communication can be can be can be better, but we just have to learn how to better it. We have, and it becomes better by. Learning how to speak to yourself, learning how to ask yourself questions, learning how to how to I understand what's in your mind and take it, putting, taking it from your mind, and putting it on a piece of paper, taking it from your mind, and putting it on on a, on, a, on a picture, put, taking it from your mind and putting it on a video, taking it from your mind and just putting it out to the world. That's why it's so important to recognize the steps and the tips that's being presented because it's here to help you be clear on everything that you're doing. See, being clear has to be understood. Once it's understood, that's when we grow. That's when we learn. That's when we develop better communication skills. The next tip I want to hit on is that we have to practice patience. 
it's not gonna be easy it is not gonna be easy i remember when i was on my journey back in 2020 when i started doing videos when i start recording when i start making content it was so difficult difficult for me to to even speak for five minutes because i was just looking at the time and nothing was nothing was improving i didn't see an improvement within a day i didn't see improvement within two days i didn't see improvement within a week i didn't see improvement within a month i didn't even see improvement within a year but i had to learn that me being patient with myself is, is identifying what i just done see i started and it, and, it, and it led me in the right direction to learn more about how to properly communicate how to properly talk to myself, how to properly record and, and make videos. Me doing that put me in an uncomfortable situation because I had to learn how to be open to communicating. See, making content is that's, that's what that's what it's all about. You have to be open to communicating while you're learning how to be clear. See, the message, ha message has to be clear because it's no longer in your head. That's why it's so important to focus on tip number one, learn how to get your, learning how to ask yourself the questions the hard questions that will allow you to understand and ask more questions to other people. That's why that tip number one is so important to work on your communication skills. Because at the time, I didn't know my, my communication skills was being worked on. I just started. I just believed. I just saw something that was in my head and I wanted to get out of my head just so I can learn more. Just so I can do more. Just so I can become more. But becoming more, doing more, and learning more starts with today. There, it starts with today because the best time to start, the best time to begin is today. It's not yesterday because yesterday is already in the past. It's not tomorrow because tomorrow is not even here. It's today. We have to stop pushing our, our efforts to the next day because we're not clear on everything that we want to do. We're not clear. That's why I had to learn that me being clear was developing patience. And, that, and as I was developing patience, today led me to be better for tomorrow. Today led me to be better for next week. Today led me to be better for next month. And that's when I understood that patience comes with time and you're not going to see the results that you expected. If you remain consistent, if you remain focused, if you are open to learning and, and, and continuing along the journey, you being clear will come over time because it's going to help you and, and demonstrate what how you can be patient for yourself, how you can be patient for your success, how you can be patient for everything that you're doing, because everything that you're doing is worth pursuing. It's worth achieving. It's worth accomplishing because we have to understand us being clear on our goals and dreams is helping us become what we think we can or what we know we can or what we understand we can become, what we can become. Being clear is painting a picture and as the picture is being developed, we can now show the next person like, hey, what do you think of this picture? Now they can see what's been in our mind, just like Northwest, Kanye West daughter. And just like she saw, just, just like she showed the picture, the picture had so much detail because it was an ocean with sand with, and the sunlight. But it was so detailed that the sand wasn't even brown. The sand had, w was like, it was a color I can't even explain because it was so good. The background, it looked like the typical water. It looked like purple with, with green, with, with, with the sunlight. And it was so amazing. It was so amazing because she understood what she was painting. We have to understand. We have to develop patience and, and recognize what we're painting takes time. It takes effort. I'm pretty sure this is not her first picture that she has painted. I'm pretty sure she's painted more. Pretty sure she's painted more. But you get better over time. Over time develops patience. This patience has to be learned because we have to be clear on everything that we're doing. We have to be clear with ourselves before we can focus on the, the goals that's outside of us. That's why today is the best time to start because tomorrow is not even here. Next week is not even here. Next month ain't even here. See, like many of you, I've been pushing back my dreams because I didn't know how to start. I wasn't clear on where to start, so I didn't understand my dreams was, was, was meant to accomplish, was, was meant to be accomplished yesterday. But yesterday never came because I kept pushing back to next week, to next month, to next year. That's why I understood that it's so important to be clear on everything that we're doing. Everything that we're doing always have a purpose if we understand who we are. If we understand who we're becoming. If we understand the effort and, and, and everything on how to be clear on the goal at hand. 
See, being clear is just having a clear uh, a understanding of a thought that you would like to do, become, or be. And that's why it takes time because patience has to be developed because you can't become, do, or be if you don't understand time. I didn't understand time because I thought I was going to be a millionaire overnight. I thought I was going to be a millionaire in a month time frame when I began this journey. But I, I wasn't a millionaire. I was learning how to be consistent. I was learning how to be clear. I was learning how to be develop patience. And see, that's when I understood that being clear is just more than a thought. It's more than communication. It's more than 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 a benefit. Because if we don't believe that we understand what we're doing, belief only goes so far if we're not putting the reps in the, the effort and the practice in every single day. That's why being clear on everything, having an understanding of everything is so important because once we make it important, it's no longer in our mind because it's coming out to the universe. It's coming out to the next person because the next person can see what, we, what we've been thinking about. That's when I understood that being clear has so many rewards. We're just focused on, on the success today. We're not paying attention on what we can become. See, that's why it's so important to have patience for yourself. You have to, you have to give yourself patience. Let, don't try to be great next month. Just be great today. Just focus on today and the effort and consistency and everything that you're doing will grow over time. Because time will help you understand why being clear is so important for your journey because your journey is meant to be accomplished. That's why I understood the power of being clear because the power of, power of being clear made me, led me to learn what it was. And it's understanding what we would like to do. It's understanding what we would like to communicate. It's understanding who we are, right? And as, as we are identifying and understanding and, and accepting who and, and what we are doing, we have, to be, we have to identify the benefits of being clear. And it has so many benefits. The benefits that it has is that it, you're growing personally. You grow personally because your skills of communication is being developed every single day. That's when I began to understand that it, it, it doesn't end. It only gets better. And the last point was, was tips to becoming clear. And, it's, and, and you, we have to work on our communication skills and practice patience for ourselves. See, being clear has to be learned. Being understood ha has to be learned because we have to understand who we are to gain a better understanding of what we would like to do. If you enjoyed this video on why being clear is so important, leave in the comments down below on, on how you are going to start being clear for yourself. What are three ways that, you, that you're going to be clear for everything that you're doing? See, that's when I begin to understand. Once we make our mind up for ourselves, we can no longer be destroyed because when we understand the goal and the work that has to be put into this goal, now we are more clear on everything that we are doing. If you enjoy watching this video, really want to really would like to watch more videos on how to personally develop within yourself, click this video right here and I'll see you there.